Are you a Spurge Lord? Are you autistic? Or are you just an awkward introvert? Right? You haven't been diagnosed with autism or anything, but you're just an awkward person. You don't have a lot of social skills. It doesn't come as natural to you as it comes to some other people. You're the awkward guy, right? I used to be the awkward guy as well. Throughout my life, there have always been people who either jokingly or non-jokingly said that I probably have autism. Now, I've never been diagnosed or anything, but if autism works on a spectrum, then yeah, I kind of can see myself being a bit further on the spectrum than average people. I've always been the guy that struggled to pick up on social cues. I was always the person that would offend other people without knowing that I offended them because I just told them the truth, right? Why the fuck would they get emotional about the truth? That's, <laughs> that's how my brain worked. And I struggled because of this. It made it harder for me to interact with other people. It made it more uncomfortable for me to talk to strangers, etc. I considered myself to be like an awkward, introverted person who wasn't that good socially. That's, that's how I viewed myself. But as I grew older, when I got to my early 20s, mid 20s or something, I think, I made the decision that I wanted to change, that I wanted to become better with social skills, with people. And to be fair with you guys, to be honest, it primarily had to do with girls, okay? Because I had this phase in my life where I wasn't really getting it on with the ladies and I, I wanted to. So I made a decision that I wanted to get some action with girls and learn how interacting with girls works. And that kind of made me understand social skills in general. Because if you want to learn how to talk to girls, you're going to have to learn how people work, right? If you learn dating women, interacting with women, pick up artism, right? You kind of automatically learn how social skills work. And I also got interested in social skills in general. So I started reading books, psychology, uh, started watching YouTube videos, etc. I started to learn how people work. And eventually I got to the point where I now, right now, in this point in life, am significantly better at social dynamics, talking to strangers, picking up on social cues, impressing people, uh, picking up women than average people are. Significantly better. I don't mean to brag or anything, but I'm better than average. I used to be the guy that was a lot worse than average at all of these things, and now I am the guy that is better than average at all of these things. And I learned it manually, because I got to this breaking point in my life where I was like, yeah, I'm tired of this shit. I want to become better at this. I made the decision. I learned it myself and now I am actually better at these things than average. And this is the point of my video. I think that we in general, right? People in general don't understand that social skills are trainable skills, especially people who are more introverted or even mildly autistic, awkward people, right? We always tend to think that if we are awkward, if we are introverted or autistic, that we're fucked. This is who we are, right? We are awkward. We don't have a lot of social skills. It doesn't come as natural to us as it comes to other people. Well, that's too bad. That's who we are. Face it, right? But that's not true. I think based on my own experience and what I can see in other people, I think that the real problem is the fact that it doesn't come as natural to us, plus the fact that we never actually learn these skills, right? That's the real problem. It's not that we can't learn these skills. We can, like I can see in myself, I actually did it. But we never do learn it. Because we live in a society, not just society, but a world, a whole world where no one actually ever teaches these skills. Your parents never teach you how social dynamics work. 
I mean, sure, your parents might tell you to be nice to people, but your parents don't tell you like the underlying psychology of what women find attractive and how to impress a girl, right? Your dad never teaches you that shit. I mean, if you have a dad that does, then you're lucky, but <laughs> most people never teach that from their parents. Your parents don't know the underlying psychology of how impressing a group works or whatever, right? They don't know any of that. They never, they never teach you any of that. You don't teach that stuff in, you don't get taught that stuff in school, right? You never learn any of that. And so it's not the fact that you can't learn it. It's just the fact that it doesn't come natural to you and you never manually learn it. And the people that are good at this naturally, they never really learn it consciously either, but they're just lucky enough that it comes natural to them. Or they kind of just subconsciously pick up on it along the way throughout life, right? They just, I don't know, <clears throat> as it, it's probably that when they're, they're a young kid, they already interact with the other kids a bit more and they sort of just subconsciously get some experience and understand that, hey, if you say this, people react like this. And if someone gives these social cues, it means this. And, and they don't really even consciously know what they're doing, but they kind of just do it, right? That's why they call it natural. It comes natural to them. The guy that is good at talking to women naturally doesn't really understand the underlying psychology, but he just kind of subconsciously knows based on experience that if he says this, that is going to work, right? He kind of just knows that. Some people don't really have that. Some people don't really have that natural instinct or that subconscious experience, right? Because we have less experience talking to girls or the other kids because we were more awkward. We were more introverted as a kid. We don't really have that. And then we think, ah, oh, I'm fucked. I'm not social because I don't have that naturally. But that doesn't mean that it has to be like that for the rest of your life. You can make the decision to learn these skills. It's just that we live in a world where you actually have to do that manually because it doesn't just come towards you. Your parents will not teach, it, teach this to you. School will not teach this to you. Your friends will not. I mean, if you're lucky enough, you watch like the right YouTube channels, you might a bit. But you're going to have to seek that out manually, right? So if you are someone that is a little more awkward, you're a bit introverted, you're a bit autistic, whatever, and you don't really have good social skills, I just, I just want you to know that it doesn't have to be that way for the rest of your life. There's two factors. There is it coming natural to you and you making the decision to actually manually learn it. And yeah, the fact that it doesn't come as natural to you sucks. It's not fair. It's going to take you more effort. <laughs> You're going to have to do stuff. But you can make the decision to become more social. And if I can speak from my own experience, it is going to be fucking worth it. It is going to make you feel so much better in life. I actually enjoy talking to strangers right now. I actually enjoy talking to girls right now and I enjoy being better at it than average. Whereas before when I was younger, if I would go to a party, I mean, I kind of liked going to parties and, and hanging out with my friends, right? But talking to strangers at the party or wherever was always something that would make me feel very uncomfortable, right? A lot of you guys probably know exactly what I mean. As soon as you're done talking to the stranger, it's almost like a relief, right? Where you're like, oh, Glad I'm done talking to the stranger. Talking to girls, man, it was hell. You're just nervous and you constantly think about what, you, what you're going to say or whatever. And now I actually enjoy doing that. I genuinely just enjoy having a conversation with a girl, flirting with her. I enjoy the fact that I'm better at it than average, right? Almost, it's almost like playing a game and enjoying the fact that you're good at it. And I made this decision myself. I, I taught myself these skills. And eventually you get to the point where it kind of comes natural to you as well, right? You don't have to 
autistically, consciously think about everything that you're saying. You kind of just get to the point where it comes natural to you as well. Now, of course, I mean, everyone's different. And if you have like super, super autism, it might be very hard for you. But for most people watching this, like 99.999% of people watching this who are a bit awkward, right? A bit awkward, a bit introverted, a bit autistic. It probably can work for you as well in the same way that it did for me. There's so many things that you can do. You can start watching some YouTube videos. There's this channel called Charisma on Command. Right? It's just, it's, it's, I think that's one of the biggest social skills YouTube channels. You can start watching videos like that. And from there on, you could go like deeper into psychology. You can start reading books. There's that old book, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I might actually have it here. I do own the book, but I don't know if it's over here. Well, How to Win Friends and Influence People from, I don't know what the writer was called anymore. You can watch YouTube videos on pickup artism. And I know that a lot of people hate on pickup artism these days because, well, there's the feminists that hate pickup artists because, oh my God, it's harassment and it's toxic masculinity. And then there's the, the black pillars and the red pillars who are like, oh my God, guys, pickup artists are pathetic because uh, the dating game is rigged against men anyway. And why w w would you waste your time chasing women, right? And uh, uh, all of that stuff. But let's be fair. Pickup artism is essentially the art of learning how to interact with women, learning what women think is attractive, work, learning how the underlying psychology works of talking to women, etc. And it's essentially learning how people work. I mean, again, I started my big change by wanting to get better with women. And that kind of just started this snowball where I started to understand people in general. And I started to understand the social game, the social game. And let's be fair, if you're a young guy or just a guy in general, you probably do want to become better with women, right? So it's a great place to start. Just start watching some pickup artist videos. And sure, you know, there are cringy pickup artists and there are scammy pickup artists and whatever. But there's also plenty of material where you can just kind of casually learn how male female social dynamics work where you can actually learn how to talk to women in a less awkward way. <laughs> so just start somewhere. Get that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Start watching Charisma on Command or whatever. And go out and practice. I know this is the most uncomfortable thing to do, but eventually you're going to have to get to the point where you're actually have, going to have to make an effort to just talk to people, talk to girls or people in general, right? You're at a party, there's a stranger, have a conversation with that stranger. And over time, you can get to that point where you become significantly better with social skills. Because I've done it. And for my whole life, people have joked about how awkward I was and how bad I was at picking up social cues. And now I've gotten to the point where I'm actually better than average at these things. And I am 100% sure that for 99% of you guys watching this, you can achieve the same change and it's worth it, okay? So if you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.